सो हे गैज वेलकम बैक टू आशीष मासी कार्स टुडे वील बी डूइंग अ डिटेल वॉक अराउंड रिव्यू ऑफ द टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन मारुति सुजुकी इग्नेस सो दिस इज द बेस वेरियंट विच इज कॉल्ड द सिगमा वेरियंट ऑफ द मारुति सुजुकी इग्नेस वेरियंट लाइन अप एंड दिस इज फॉलोड बाय द डेल्टा वेरियंट विच इज अगेन फॉलोड बाय द जीटा एंड द एल्फा ट्रिम विच हैपन्स टू बी अ टॉप एंड वेरियंट ऑफ दिस कार सो यू कैन जस्ट हैव एन ओवर व्यू ऑफ हाउ दिस कार लुक्स दिस कार इज क्रिटिसाइज फॉर इट्स लुक्स सो इट्स मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इजर अ लाइक इट और हेट इट थिंग इट्स क्वाइट अ पोलराइजिंग ओपिनियन विच हैज़ बिन क्रिएटेड बट येस दिस कार डज मेक अ लॉट ऑफ सेंस फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ बायर स्पेशली हु आर लुकिंग फॉर अ फ्यूल एफिशेंट हैचबैक विथ अ लॉट ऑफ फीचर्स अंडर द प्राइस बैकेट ऑफ अबाउट सेवन लाख रुपीज सो दिस कार विल के टू टू दोज काइंड ऑफ कस्टमर्स नाउ एज अफ मैंशन दिस इज द बेस सिगमा वेरियंट एंड दिस हैज़ बिन offered with some accessories like these wheel caps this chrome element as well as an infotainment system so we'll be talking about that in detail as well but let's begin with the key fob so this key has been also accessorized because you get remote center locking which has been installed as an accessory so this is basically nippon's center locking the brand is nippon which maruti suzuki has collaborated with if you go for the sigma variant without accessories you will get this kind of a key but in this sigma variant with accessories you have been offered this remote center locking now coming to the technical specifications this car has been only offered in petrol since maruti has phased out its diesel engines so this has been powered by 1.2 liter four cylinder vvt technology based petrol engine and uh, produces around 82 bhp of power 113 newton meters of torque it's in the same state of tune as seen on the maruti suzuki balino so no change in terms of that and this car costs about 5.5 lakh rupees on road in gurgaon haryana so the sigma variant specially makes a lot of sense if you're looking for a low budget hatchback beginning state with the headlamps these are conventional halogen headlamps with this reflector based halogen bulb and the indicator as well is a halogen unit if you move on to the higher trims like the alpha you will get a led full led projector setup with led drls the central fascia of the car is also quite attractive because of these chrome elements u shaped chrome elements which are similar to the maruti suzuki brezza the pre facelift one and on the lower end of the bumper the radiator grill has been loaded with this silver element it's a kind of a diffuser and you will notice a lot of use of cladding and plastic parts which lends that bit of ruggedness to the vehicle these fog lamps are halogen ones and have been installed as accessories you won't get these stock on the sigma variant now moving to the side profile these are steel rims silver steel rims which have been offered with these wheel caps so these wheel caps are again a part of accessories and the tire size is 175 65 or 15 so these are 15 inch tires which is definitely a good thing on the base variant and along with that this wheel cap as i mentioned is a part of the accessories now one big benefit with the ignis is that you get a 180 mm massive ground clearance so in case you live in rural areas or you like to travel to off peak destinations this will really help you in that aspect this chrome lining here is a part of accessories as well the door handles are again body colored and so are the outside rear view mirrors now the door part is quite basic but one good thing which really grab your attention is are these body colored elements so if you opt for the blue color you'll get this very solid blue color interior door handle and this kind of a theme has been created throughout to further beautify the cabin front two power windows has been offered on the sigma variant but you can always go for rear power windows as an accessory now the footwell is something which is spaced quite well so no issue in terms of that and the seats are also pretty basic but you have been offered seat covers again which are part of the accessories with this silver stitching and tubing but these are not height adjustable now taking a look at the buttons these are buttons for the accessory so this is the security alarm system as well as the front fog lamp switch let's ingress into the car now and talk about the other features which have been offered now i've already shown you the keys 
and this is how the instrument cluster of the ignis sigma variant looks now one thing which is missing over here is the fact that you don't get any tachometer now this is something which maruti suzuki should have offered considering the fact that this car costs somewhere around 5.5 to 5.6 lakh rupees on road so that is one thing you will be missing but the multi information display is also pretty good it's an horizontal display with, with orange backlight so this is something which is quite basic nothing extraordinary offered over here but you can definitely toggle it through these vertical stocks offered now taking a look at the stocks these are conventional wiper related controls and on the right we get the conventional head ramp related toggles now if you move on to the delta variant you will get controls over here to toggle through the multi information display so that thing is also missing because the multi information display as well as the instrument cluster completely changes if you move on to the delta variant and now here you get this tablet like screen now if you go for the sigma variant without any accessories you won't be offered any infotainment system or music system this is a pioneer touchscreen infotainment system with bluetooth connectivity as well as usb so this is something you can opt for as well if you like but even if you don't want to opt for genuine accessories you have the option of upgrading aftermarket but the benefit here is that with genuine accessories you won't have any issues in terms of warranty or wire cutting etc which aftermarket shops are infamous for this is the hazard light button as well as this extremely cool looking manual air conditioner unit so this the toggles etc feel really good and tactile when you use them so this is one part i really like about the ignis even though they look slightly dated you get a 12 volt charging socket here on the center console now in terms of storage spaces this car is pretty good two cup holders as well as a place to put your phone or other knickknacks has been offered and the center panel is again in the same color as your body color which creates a kind of a theme throughout the cabin this is a 5 speed manual gearbox but you also have an option of amt and this is how the reverse parking camera which has been offered as an accessory again looks the camera quality is good and you definitely get reverse parking sensors standard across all variants you don't get any armrest on the center console either in terms of plastic quality this car is pretty good it's at par with its competitors i'd say but not as good as some cars like the grand atte neos you get this small cubbies in which you can put coins or pens etc and the glove box is something which is good again because you get this division you can you get a tablet holder as well as a document holder which have been specially allocated in terms of safety this car has been offered with two airbags abs as well as ebd and the irvm is not even manually adjustable so this was all about the front end let's move to the rear seating space and talk about the other features which have been offered now moving to the rear end this is how the side profile of the car looks as i mentioned you get a 180 mm ground clearance now this is a peculiar design element which some people like again and some don't but yes this is something which makes your car stand out when you take a look at it from the side profile now entering into this car is specially very very easy because of the tall boy stance that this car has the aperture is pretty wide and as i've mentioned the door does not have any power window switches for the rear passengers you will have to manually toggle this window now let's just ingress into the car now here i am in the rear space of the ignis the front seat is set to my height my height is 5 feet and 10 and a half inches and you can take a look at the amount of space i have the space is good considering the size and segment of this car so i have good amount of space i'd say but under the support is definitely lacking so for taller passengers that would be a problem but again in terms of headroom this car really stands out owing to its tall boy stance you get a lot of headroom so taller passengers will be comfortable in that aspect and the rear headrests are fixed no adjustable headrests on the rear seats so all in all the cabin feels good the window line is slightly high so you might feel claustrophobic because in the base variant you get an all black interiors while in the delta zeta and alpha variants you get a dual tone combination so this is all about the rear cabin this is how the rear appeal of the ignis looks let's start with the tail lamps you get split tail lamps this is an all halogen unit definitely no leds and halogens have been used 
for all three elements the brake light indicators as well as the reverse lamps and you get a lot of use of silver elements and cladding which gives it a very heavy stance along with these broad reflectors four parking sensors have been placed but this reverse parking camera is a part of the accessories no rear wiper defogger have been given in the sigma variant but a conventional micro antenna has been placed on the roof now the boot gate is pretty heavy so this is one element which adds to the build quality of this car and a parcel tray has been added along with this 260 liter boot space which you get obviously this is a pretty decent boot space and even in terms of practicality is quite good but the loading lip however is slightly high but all in all this uh, 260 liter boot space is good in terms of practicality and you can store a decent amount of luggage here in the boot space of the ignis so guys thank you so much for watching this video please like share and also subscribe to our channel ashish masigars thank you so much for watching this video